either side of this here tree, of course. That's the start of the Deadwood uh, Trail. How you get through here is up to you <laughs> on the day. Mine's red. <laughs> That's your right. I'll come down that way from the other end. If you're going up the thing, come through here, like Ben and I did. <laughs> Especially how we got stuck in through all the foliage. You know where you are, fellas? I'm going to go all the way up the hill. Phil Miles climbed most of it. Not too bad. Ben and I cleared, rode up most of this bit. Of course, we didn't know it at the time. It wasn't cleared at all. Either way, some of you might want to go that way. Just let your bike go down over this bit. Now this is the main route, but I'm looking one slightly different on my right. I'm not sure it would be any better than what this is. Of course, there's a lot full of a lot of this sort of stuff. I'm not digging all this out. Supposed to be a rough and ready single track. More or less natural. Very soft mine on the I know that hard now. After the way I rode around that side of that small rhododendron bush. So I'll leave it there so as a pointer you know where you are. Fat bikes I should think love this. And 29ers like Phil was riding. I did look at that, but I don't know, it's a lot of work. And I'm sure it'll sort itself out. As people use it, they'll, they'll get to know the best line. Look at that. Dog poo wrappers. What is it there? I like that uh, earth I got there. Might bring me wheelbarrow there.
This is drying out a lot, isn't it? God, just got, goes to show up, what, 10 days? When I first came out there, there was still a puddle. You can see, in the distance, the other side of that fire road, the main fire road, from Centre Park to the lake. There's a little track that goes up, and that's where we're going. Trouble is, boys and girls, there could well be bits of twigs left across it from either dogs, deer, or children. So be wary, I think, especially at night. Hopefully, I'll do it tomorrow night. We'll see. I know where we are. Car parks and yachting centre. Up the centre park. Stingers are going to be a, a pretty thick round here, I think. Watch out, keep an eye out for those. And going down, you've got a bear right at them. Rains, it could be a bit soft at that point on this one. I'm coming out of the shade in a minute, it's going to get hot. There's no wind hill. I'm not sure if I'm going to be brave enough to come down here. I'm not clever enough. I must give it a try though. I won't let it defeat me. I just got to keep the speed at the right bit for me to take it all in as I'm coming down. You got a few little steps. Uh, something like a bit. No doubt some of these are snap. Of course we had uh, Three or four adults coming down here with a couple of dogs, I think it was. I think this defeated uh, Phil. Oh, defeated me trying to walk up here. Very loose. There's only a little burn just to give you an idea. Help a little bit. Like I said, it's not wind hill. Pull the dog poo. New set of the trail.
cleared this afternoon. It's nice and cool. Tools. That's what you see when you're going down. Oh, I can hear the tweety birds. Now, there's bound to be something in the way, boys. They're not big, I hope. Snatch there. One more little stump. Good job, there's no singing tonight. You know where we are now? This is the start of the, of the dill. One part of it. It's drying up nicely now. I'm sure you recognise that. Up through there you can go. Up through the original route. There's also a way down there. Uh, go to the triple trails, at least one of them, in between the trees down there. Right, I'm going back through here. Do a bit of raking just to uh, clarify the route is open. And remember, you're coming down here from Twin Tires. Now you can go through there and go down where I just came from. Over and out. Have fun. <laughs>